Well, if you're a working mom or know someone who is, you won't be surprised to hear that moms are on the brink of exhaustion during the pandemic. KCAL9's Alex Viston has details on an eye-opening study that many women can probably relate to. I feel like when I'm doing work, I'm neglecting the kids, and I feel like I'm you know, taking care of the kids and helping them with their schoolwork then I'm neglecting my job. It's a seemingly never ending cycle that countless parents are facing the challenge of juggling work, remote learning and the pandemic. But a new study called Women in the Workplace is finding women are being uniquely impacted. Single mother of two, Carrie DeGuire, says the burden is overwhelming. I have had to go back in my duties at work. I had some leadership responsibilities that I had to give up for this and um, Honestly, it's some days it's, um, yeah, there's tears. And DeGuire isn't alone. The 63 page study surveyed 40,000 employees and found that one in four women are contemplating downshifting their jobs or leaving the workforce altogether. And what we're hearing from mothers is they're taking on a disproportionate amount of work at home in terms of child care and household duties. For senior women, what we're hearing is that they're really burnt out, they're exhausted. And from black women, we've always known that they've had a harder time in the workplace and they've faced bias and they've faced more challenges. And now we're hearing that they're facing extra challenges because they're two and a half times more likely to have experienced death of a loved one due to the COVID-19 crisis. Jess Wong is a co-author of the study that was conducted by McKinsey and Company and the Lean In Foundation headed by Facebook COO Cheryl Sandberg. She says research finds mothers are more than three times as likely as fathers to be responsible for housework. 70% of fathers in heterosexual couples, dual career couples, think that they're doing equal amounts of work as their partners. Only 44% of mothers feel the same, so there's clearly a discrepancy there. And as families, just like the DeGuires, feel like they are reaching a breaking point, Huang provides a takeaway for employers. Now that they know which challenges are causing women to feel like they need to step out or take a step back from their careers, um, you know, companies can actually address it. This survey has been conducted over the past six years, and this is the first time researchers say that more women are leaving the workforce than men. I'm Alex Piston for KCAL 9 News.